What's up, y'all? I'm Andy Story with Poster Grind, and I'm an art director in Hollywood that designs movie posters for a living. Today, I'm going to show you how you can swap out a face from one body and put it on the other body. And the reason I want to show you that is because a lot of times when you're working on movie poster designs, you're going to have to swap out a face and or eyeball, a nose, a mouth, a hand, or any other part of the human body and put it back on and make it look realistic. It's an important skill to know because you're going to have to resort to it numerous times throughout your career. And so that's why today I'm going to show you the quick and easy way to do so. Let's dive on in. <laughs> Okay guys, let's go ahead and rock and roll with this face swap. Go ahead and fire up Photoshop, drop in your two images where you want to switch the faces and or expressions or eyeballs or smile to grimacing to whatever you want to do. What I did today is went ahead and downloaded two images from Envato, which I would suggest you do as well. It's a very affordable stock photography and graphics website where you can pick out multiple images for your projects. So let's get started. These images that I dropped in are gonna be the same model, obviously. We're gonna pretend she's an actress and this is a uh, movie about living on a beach <laughs> or something like that. What the creative director wants or what you want as the art director is to keep the hat image. See the hat? We're going to keep that, but we want her looking off to the left. And that's what she's doing in this image. So we're going to swap this face onto that face and achieve what we want to achieve. So what we have to do now is go ahead and select both of these with uh, hitting shift and now they're both selected. Now hit command T and we're gonna transform the image a little bit bigger, uh, close to what the crop would be uh, for what we want in our composition, our movie poster, something like that. And then hit enter and that should be good. Now I'm looking at the bottom one. Let's go ahead and shift the bottom image over to right about there. And I, it's not gonna be the final crop for our movie poster, but I just wanna have it kind of centered and looking somewhat decent so that we can get this head on there and I don't know, just organizationally. And speaking of organization, you should have your templates set up correctly if you've been following the channel. Go ahead and check out the movie poster template video where I show you how to create a bleed and how to organize your file specifically for movie poster design. And as you can see, I have a type folder, an effects folder, art folder, and a background folder. And these images here are gonna be considered art. So let's go ahead and put that in the art folder, open the art folder, and there they are. First things first, we want to position our head swap image over the other one and then size it correctly. So go ahead and hit Command T. We're gonna kind of drop it over to where we think it is. And at the same time, we're gonna drop the opacity so that we can kind of see it on top of that other image. So probably right around 30%. Now we're still transforming so we can make it smaller. And one of the easiest ways to make sure that you have the correct size of your head or your eyeballs or your mouth or nose or whatever is to look at the eyes because the eyeballs uh, aren't going to change in size. And you're also gonna look at the nose, the, the amount of space in between the nose. That's another good guide to use. And right here, we're doing pretty good. And the cool thing is, is that we can always go back and forth to where it needs to be. I'm gonna kind of start right here. And then I'm gonna just slightly nudge, angle her just a tad, that's one degree, and then hit enter. And then let's go ahead and raise the opacity. And now she's there. And we're going to paint her back in using a layer mask. And to do that, all we're gonna do is hit option on the keyboard and then tap on the mask. And now we have an inverted mask. You see this black? that's preventing our image from showing through. You can always see the image below if it's blacked out by hitting the shift key and toggle back and forth. 
The layer mask is going to be easily painted on top. Get your Wacom pen out and get a brush. And we're just going to leave the flow at 100 just to kind of see where we're at. And you want to paint white to allow the bottom image to show through. Right now, if you look over here, I am on black. I'd be painting black, so nothing would show through. But as soon as I switch that to white by hitting X, it allows me to paint this image through. And voila, we have a face swap. And now our job is to delicately paint in where we want it to paint and where we don't want it to paint. For instance, I just put that neck in there and that neck doesn't look very anatomically correct. We're gonna paint that out and make it correct. You wanna try and leave as much of the previous image as possible, especially this neck area. You can kind of see that's not gonna work. So let's go ahead and paint that back. And now right where her chin starts to appear is where we're gonna not paint. So we're leaving all of this from the bottom image. And then let's go ahead and toggle back and forth right now between the previous image and the one that we want to use. I'm just kind of looking at it and I think it's a little small. So hit Command T, or that face is a little small. So let's go ahead and put the scope right here so that when we transform and make this larger, everything expands from this point. And what you're gonna to have to do is hold down the Option key and go ahead and expand. So we're just gonna do a tiny bit, not too drastic. Hit enter and we should be good. Now, let's see, let's toggle back and forth. I feel like the size of the face is good. Now we just gotta kinda paint away what we don't want. Make sure we're painting black. And we want that hat and the shadow so that it looks realistic to come through. We don't want any extra hair from the bottom image coming through. And we don't want the neck to be touched, but Let's make sure that we get that other image on top. So we're just kind of going back and forth until it starts to make sense. Now, this piece of hair, I don't mind coming down. So I'm going to paint that strip of hair and then it's just going to kind of come into there. And I'm going to drop the flow of our brush. There we go. I'm going to have a little bit more hair. So we're just painting back and forth until we get this. And that looks pretty good to me. Now let's toggle it, make sure there's nothing too weird happening. This, let's go ahead and hit Command Plus, and get a little closer and kind of see what's going on right here. See the shadow coming through from the bottom image? We're gonna get rid of that. Make sure we are painting white. Increase our flow so we make sure that we get all of it. Something like that. And that's a little bit more realistic. All right, and now we kind of want to see where our mask is. So go ahead and hover over the mask and hit option. And now we can see what's really coming through. There's nothing weird or out of the ordinary. So we can just hit that again, option. And now we're back to our image. And that there is a pretty easy beginner face swap. For organizational purposes, let's go ahead and group this and name it, hit shift for both images, the top and the bottom layer, and then Command G, and then we're gonna name this Actress One, and there we go. And now we have our actress ready to go. If this was a movie poster, we would have title, copy, and then we'd even have effects for some kind of color treatment, which we can just kind of play around with right now. I'll just do a color balance, and let's get uh, a little more red in there and some magenta. And now it looks like we're looking at a sunset, which is totally possible. So you can kind of play with it however you want. And then we can just get the type color a little different. And this is just for tutorial purposes, but the title would be down here somewhere. And let's say we want to crop the actress. We can do so something like that and then the title but you guys kind of get the point now you guys have 
the beginner's guide to face swaps for movie poster design. If this is something you guys dug and learned from, if you're a beginner just getting into movie poster design, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe because we will be updating with more movie poster tutorials in the future. All right, guys, I just did a quick little treatment for our movie poster just to kind of, um, you know, finish it up. I would have definitely spent way more time on this if this was just strictly face swap, but I wanna give you guys a little bonus of what I did to get to this spot here. So for the effects folder where we do a lot of the color grading and treatments and technique, uh, what I did is I, call, or I actually, uh, dropped in more shadow here so that our title is easier to read. And one way to see if your title is reading is by keeping your navigation uh, tab open here on the right so that you can have a good idea of how this would look from a little further away. And all I did was use a curves layer, inverted the curve, and then painted that shadow back in. And then I added a little bit of brush uh, there as well. So a very light brush using just black. And that's just a quick way to do it. And to use a desaturation, I just use a black and white adjustment layer and you can just drop the opacity. This is just one way to do it. So it kind of depends. The reason I dropped or desatted it just to make it a little, I don't know, less colorful, a little maybe tad serious, but also just so that that title will read. And then up here, I added some contrast using a curve, just using an S curve with the curves layer. Here, I just dropped in a little bit more pink. And to finish it off, I used a little bit of noise and all the noise is at is at seven on the filter. But I'll show that, I'll show you how to use that in a future video. As far as type, just did a quick little title using Gills Sans Nova. Just put a color adjustment on top of it so that it can play around with color. And for the copy, same thing, same type, Gills Sans Nova book. You can always drop that into light um, just to switch it up a little bit. So we can do that and then center it. Command all V and then hit the center up here. And there that is. And then we could always add the actors and actresses names up here and then put the copy down here somewhere. But to keep this on the shorter side, that's kind of where we are and where we ended up. And I hope you guys liked it. I hope you learned something. Keep on coming back. Subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you on the next tutorial.